All right, welcome back to the Double Golden Reaper, the series where having already completed the Golden Reaper title once before, I aim to complete it again, but this time it's on my Iron Man. All right, after finishing Osseus in the last video, it's time for my Iron Man to move on to a more active grind that will push my account even further into the end game. I'm looking for some big upgrades in this episode, and what better place to look than God Wars Dungeon 1. No, not on this first level. We gotta look a little deeper than this. Even deeper still. There we go. Welcome to Nex, Angel of Death. This is one of the lengthiest and most challenging collection log grinds in the entire game. Not only is this a group boss that is typically fought in groups of seven, which can make filling an experienced team a challenge in its own right, but the boss's most desirable drops, the tier 92 best in slot magic dual wields, have a dauntingly rare drop rate of 1 in 2000 each. If this wasn't scary enough, there is also a requirement of hunting one of the four intricate chests, which have a specific drop rate of 1 in 4096. Now you only need to get one of the four for the base log and for Golden Reaper, but collecting all four would unlock the additional Golden Praisal title. AOD was also the very last boss collection log that I finished to get my original Golden Reaper title and that took me over 7,200 kills for me to get my final drop. So putting all this into perspective, when you're getting 25 to 30 kills an hour at this boss, it's enough to make your head spin. If I am able to complete this title, it will complete the entirety of the best in slot magic gear for my Iron Man, and put me in a fantastic position to take on some future grinds that I'm only experienced in doing with magic, like Zamorak and solo hard mode Virago. So here's hoping that I can get a little bit lucky, or at the very least, luckier than my main account. Heck yeah, Incandescent Energies is awesome for me. I love getting this drop. Oh, whoa, that guy got a wand. Good for him. This is a keep sour, so he's got a nice payday coming. Oh my goodness, that's a high KC for the pet. Getting a broadcast early in the hour is promising for the rest of the hour. Grats to you, Italy429. I do have to say though, I am pretty dry so far. I've hit a dry streak of well over 500 kills now. At least I'm still getting splits on some of these splits hours, but uh, it's been a minute since I've had a personal. Incandescent energies though, that definitely softens the blow. That's a great drop. Oh, Brazel Codex for the iron. All right. More incandescence. Yes. So I'm doing this thing AFK on my main while I'm uh, waiting for people to enter the instance where I'm AFKing with the Holy Scarab familiar trying to hunt this really rare 1 in 3000 monkey bone that uh, unlocks a Grigri transmogrification. It's a very interesting true trim wreck. I might have to make a video about it one day. Why is he so slow? Oh wait, no, no, I'm making the instance. Oh my God, that's embarrassing. It's too early in the day for this brain lag, man. All right, this is the last kill of the hour. Let's see if we can get a drop in our name for this one. No, not quite. 
Unlucky. That is 1,700 kills, though. So my current dry streak on a personal is pretty close to hitting 600. That hour finished just in time for me to get over to the KBD as well. So that's pretty nice. If I can't get an Imperium core, maybe I'll get a Dark Onyx core. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, what the heck? Hold on, I got a... What? I got a wand and a chest? Oh my goodness. I needed both of those for the log. I needed both of the... Oh, I can't even talk. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's my favorite one too. It's my favorite one. That's the one I wear on my main. Okay, let me take a second here, get a screenshot, and then let's get back to doing kills. Oh my god, that's crazy. Okay, I can't keep my team waiting too long. Got my screenshot. Let's get out of here. Look at all the PMs. Oh my goodness. Alright. I feel the need to justify my reaction just a little bit. Because it is just a game after all. But there's a couple of factors here that make this drop very special for me. Let's not even mention the obvious rarity of the double drop yet, but I have to start by saying that Magic is probably my favorite combat style in the game. It's the first one that I really invested time into learning and committed to getting the gear for when I was first getting into PBM. Also going from disassembling my Sea Singer wand just a couple episodes ago for components to now getting the best wand in the game is super exciting. Also the intricate ice chest has been a staple part of my fashionscape ever since it came out. I was a very early adopter of the ice robes fashion, buying a chest only a few days after AOD first came out. So along with the snowman head that I've been rocking for 11 years now, now I also have the robes that have made my character recognizable for the last 7 years. So just how rare is this drop? Knowing that specifically the ice chest is a 1 in 4096, and it's a 1 in 2000 to get the wand, that leads to a clip like this only ever happening once in every 8,192,000 AOD kills. It's pretty safe to say that you won't see something like this every day. Also, how fitting is it that for episode 8 of the Double Golden Reaper series, I pull off a 1 in 8 million drop? There's definitely some synergy there. It must just mean that Jagex has enabled the streamer slash YouTuber luck on my account after hitting a thousand subs. Whoa, clanmate just got a Hazelmere's ring. Man, the crazy RNG is activated in our clan or, or what is going on? I hit that one in eight million combo drop and now that? Good for you, dude. That's crazy. Yeah, man, this is the clan to join right here. The RNG is insane this week. Oh, yes. Come on, man. There we go. There's a personal appraisal codex. Now that the floodgates are open, I don't know if it's the YouTube luck or what's going on here, but now we're talking. Now we're making some money. Here I am in Menophos just drop trading this appraisal codex to my main got the matching intricate ice chests now and it's just so cool to me although every time i drop trade it does give me a little bit of anxiety that i'll disconnect or that someone will come in and yoink the drop at the last second there we go though any second now it's gonna appear and there we go picked it up just for context this is my friend accidents aod log He's got six chests now, en route to the double golden appraisal title, before he even gets the core. So both of us went on an hour, and now both of us are looking for the Imperium core to finish our logs. Him with the insane log, and me with just the base log. Oh no. <laughs> Hate to see it. Good for him, though.
Yeah, I know we both missed the core. Oh, man, we both missed the title shot right there. Oh, I'm done. Oh, no. It's a chest. <laughs> oh, no. What? It's a second chest. Oh, no. I'm going to become accident. I'm going to have golden appraisal before the imp core. So my AOD pals thought this was super funny and asked me to make sure that I saved it. For historical purposes, obviously. Watch this player who enters the pool. And he's going to misclick the same tick that the pool pops for the base damage that goes around to the whole team. He also pops the pool on himself and takes the 14k additional damage just directly. So he walks in, misclicks, takes the 5k into the 14k, stands no chance, insta wipe. Bomb on his head and everything. That is definitely a pretty funny clip. Happens to the best of us. So we did do one hour of AOD here, and uh, there were three intricate chest drops. One on the very first kill of the hour, where I barely managed to record. One in the middle of the hour, another blood chest. And then the same player ended up getting a second chest in his name. I've never actually seen more than one chest in an hour before. Oh, you did it! No way! Congrats! Yeah, dude! Yes! Well done. It's a double drop, too. Fallen Angel and Insane Fallen Angel at the same time. He didn't end up having to go 8 out of 4 chests. Only 6 out of 4. So, truthfully, as happy as I was for my friend to finish his much-deserved base plus Insane AOD title, I was also a little bit bummed out in realizing that he was going to be done permanently with the boss and it was going to be even harder to fill teams as he was the one who was predominantly hosting teams for us. But I told myself, I'm going to grind AOD as much as I can up to the weekend. I'll host teams, I'll join randoms, I'll invite learners, I'll do whatever I can to grind this title. And the very next morning, this happened. Oh my god. No way. I got it. I actually got it. What the heck? No. <laughs> okay. Let's go, man. This is awesome. That's best in slot mage done. That's this nightmare of a boss. Finished. Bro, just a day after accident too. That's crazy. Now we can go to Virago together. Maybe get uh, Vitalis one day apart as well. That'd be funny. Hopefully I'll go first on Vitalis this time, though. Now that I've finished the Praisal title for the second time, I'd like to go over some of the important loot that I got. It's important to reiterate that I started this video with about 1100 KC, and that this loot is only the loot that I tracked from this video. For unique drops, I received 8 Praisal Codexes over the totality of my KC four of which I used to unlock best in slot tier 99 prayers for my account. And the other four have funded my membership via bonds. I received two intricate chests, including my personal favorite one, the intricate ice chest. And most importantly, I received one of each weapon. I'm very glad not to have gotten any duplicate weapons and to have received both weapons under 2000 kill count. After going 7,000 kills for the title on my main, this luck is a big relief. In Alkables, we have 47.5 million GP worth of Ascendry Bolts, 30 million worth of Onyx Bolt Tips, 35 million worth of Main and Offhand Dragon Longswords, and 78.4 million GP worth of various Rune Salvages totaling 190.9 million coins. I received 651 crystal keys, which, which each give a guaranteed dragonstone, as well as some other supplies from a wide drop table. Notably for my Iron Man, Corrupted Ore is probably the most useful, as we've recently had the announcement that smithing will be bumping up to a level 110 skill. So I have 10 more levels to get in smithing eventually. 
Speaking of dragon stones, I received 3,200 of those, which can be converted into 440,000 crafting experience. Another interesting drop that I collected was the 55,300 magic logs, which can either be turned into almost 18.7 million fire making experience, 5.5 million fletching experience, or after a lengthy process of converting them into magic planks and then magic frames, and then rebuilding the Fort for N3 kitchen 92 times, I can get 16 million construction experience. That's gonna be it for this video. This one was pretty incredible if I do say so myself. That one in eight million drop might just be the coolest drop I've ever gotten in this game and is gonna be incredibly hard to top. Finishing the AOD title was a huge hurdle for Golden Reaper and was one of the top three logs that I was most scared to take on for a second time. It also opens a lot of doors for me. I really feel for the first time since Necromancy came out that my iron is no longer necrolocked for PVM. Having full best in slot magic, at least for the next couple months till tier 95s come out, is a fantastic feeling. Anyway, before I ramble on too long, I'll just ask that if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and sharing this video with a friend. This one was a really big project in terms of gameplay and editing, so I appreciate the support. Thank you for watching and see you next time.